Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, I want to show you guys the best times to be buying crypto and the best times to be selling. I'm not just going to show you, I want to kind of teach you a very simple strategy that you can use on your journey that will hopefully help you start making a lot more money in the future of crypto. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if, we, uh, if you're new watching, to get my words out, and we will dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, you've heard of that saying, you know, if you give a guy a fish for the day, he'll eat for the day. But if you teach him how to fish, he will live for a lifetime. Well, I'm going to use that same words with a few different words and show you my easy strategy. Because, you know, if you give someone some chicken, <laughs> they'll eat that chicken in 10 seconds. But if you teach them how to cook some chicken, they can keep buying more chicken and cooking more. OK, so I'm going to teach you guys how to cook some chicken on this one. What am I laughing for? Okay, let's do this. Very simple, guys. I've got two important things that I want to show you. The 21-day moving average. If you watch my channel, you see this a lot. I keep showing you the 21-day the moving average, and you can tell it's the daily moving average because it says 1D up here, 1D. And if you want to do this yourself, you can come on TradingView, totally free. You know, just get on, sign up, and then, you know, you can search for the indicators right here. You click on this little F-looking thing, and then you just type in moving average. You see, I'm using the moving exponential average. You can do it as well. And once you've got it, it will look something like that. You can click on it and change it to 21. And you can choose the colors and stuff. I like yellow. But yeah, once you have that, you can then get a good picture of what's going on. We're going to use Bitcoin as an example. Uh, ignore the 54%. I'm, in pro, uh, previous videos, I've, I've just been showing that like, Bitcoin has been dropping to 54% in this disgusting drop that we've had. But I want to really focus your attention on the 21-day moving average. And this down here called the RSI, Relative Strength Index. You can find that again, you know, come up here and you search it and you can find it in here. Type RSI and it should pop up, right? Relative Strength Index. Uh, but yeah, every time the price of Bitcoin, you know, and you can use this with any coin, okay? Anytime the price of Bitcoin has been above the yellow line, which is the 21 daily moving average, we've seen it ride across for the longest time and it goes higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Right, and the same goes for if it's been below. If it's been below, it holds it holds resistance, meaning it tries to go above. Sometimes it breaks it. Sometimes it comes back down. It tries again. It breaks it. And we've seen this for however long. And it's with any coin that you invest in. Uh, this is a tr you know a standard. Uh, indicator that people like to use because it's, it's relevant it's, it's really powerful in my eyes and then you have the RSI now let me show you how powerful these can be together and it's very simple if you look down here let me just drag up the RSI really make it clear and clean and simple so you can understand right super simple this tells you when prices are overbought and prices are under uh, uh, sorry overbought and under undervalued oversold right and i've uh well the standard is 1730 this is this uh, purplish bluish area that you see right so if you ever see price action or indicator action in there it's still deciding which way it's going to go blah 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 the most important thing is to remember when it goes above this line here so which says number 70 right you can see it over here with these faint dotted lines it, it lines up at 70 if the price ever goes above 70 always been a good time to sell and you can see that relative with the charts okay now let me drag this down a little bit and then it'll help you understand more so take a look at the bitcoin chart if you had sold up here you know you would have sold up here you would have taken some nice profits and usually the best time to wait to buy again usually is when you see it oversold but you know, on the daily time frame, you know, that could probably take a couple of days, weeks, or if sometimes months. It depends how patient you are. But a lot of people do it over the few days, weeks, because that's called swing trading. You do get day traders that try to, you know, catch them earlier, and they set the time to four hours. Now, every time you drop this, it can become more risky because the volatility can, you know, be more volatile but i like to do it on the daily and let me just show you how you can look like a genius in front of your friends because all you're going to do is follow two uh, follow two simple steps you're going to look for uh the price action on the yellow and if the price action is below the yellow line 
and this indicator looks like it's going to come below this number 30 here at these you see the checkered dotted lines checkered <laughs> dotted lines if it's ever below it's always been a good time to buy it. and let's just take a look back in the past and you can see what i mean right so you know the last good time to buy was this one here you see down here um let me just bring this up a little bit so you can see down here was the perfect time to be buying Bitcoin, right? Because it, it, it broke below this dotted line. And I've drawn two extra lines on top. I'm going to explain that in a second. For me, that's like a threshold, like as to when I really should be thinking about buying and selling, right? But the main thing is these dotted lines. It, it broke below the dotted lines. And, you know, if I actually bring it up again real quick, I've got two blue lines a pow light blue line which are set to 75 you can do this as well if you want super simple when i do this i just hover over it like this like wherever my line is here and you can you can hold the alt and tap the letter h and it just draws a line straight up like that you see and you can do it anywhere on the the charts uh, and i did it right here and you can see this threshold for me is at 75 over here that means that whenever it gets close to 75 I don't care what price it is. For me, that is a good time to be thinking about selling this crypto. And you can see why in a second. And when and down here, my threshold, the very faint blue line is 24-ish. 24 and a half. Is that 24? Yeah, 24 and a half. Whenever I've seen prices go below or around 24 and a half, as you can see here in the past as well, for me, this is a great time to be buying crypto or bitcoin in this sense right so let's just take a look at what happened to the price as we got to these mark areas here so look this shows back in march if you had bought if you just followed this simple strategy and bought down here at the when it broke below the 24 my thin line right it broke past the 30 it broke past the 24 and then you know you bought down here you would have been buying this this massive drop down here which did a v-shaped recovery and then you probably would have held it to one of these uh oversold prices here so either here or here whichever one you want to do and you know again the price is below the yellow line you can see it so it's definitely a good indicator that it's now it could be a good time to buy because the price is below the yellow line the price uh, the actual rsi has dropped below the 30 and the 24 which is my threshold that tells me it's a good time to be buying bitcoin so you'd buy around here right you'd buy around here and then you'd wait patiently doesn't matter how long you'll need to wait you'd wait patiently and then you would sell it up here and take some nice profits now i'm going to show you what kind of profits it would be as an example in this scenario so you know zoom this in uh you're looking at let me just get rid of this as well i don't need this right now so you'd roughly bought around uh, where's my measuring tool roughly bought around here let's just say around here and then you would have sold right up here let me just the reason i'm spreading it out here is because i'm trying to get to the top of this bit here you're looking at 142 percent gains it's crazy and some people do this on uh leverage trading platforms like bybit and if you did this on bybit because you can leverage your bet which means you can times your uh your um your trade by 10x or 20x or 50x if you time if you bought in here and then waited patiently and kept your trade open for this amount of days till it got and then you looked at the rsi and said to yourself right i think i need to be selling around about here because it's coming out now it's gone past my threshold and you did a 10x you would have turned that 142 percent into 1420 percent or 24 percent it's mad crazy ludicrous bomb i just want that to sink in in you know because you can see it every single time so i just got the bloody move that out of the way i don't need that anymore because <laughs> you can see it every time so look uh and then obviously once you close that trade ideally you want to wait for another price below here uh some people are impatient and <laughs> they want to buy sooner this could have been a good buy i probably would have waited for this one here right so i would have missed all this and watched it all being happy with my profits and waited for this one here because it's close to like the three dotted lines and i probably would have bought here and then you know you can see down here there's a price a price fall matches up perfectly with the below the yellow line you see it's come below the yellow line drop down here come close to these dotted lines i'll buy it and then i'll wait i'll wait patiently till it comes above this threshold again for me to sell which is roughly around about here now because uh i know that the yellow line can hold significant support sometimes 
you can then take that information and say well what if bitcoin was to uh, bounce across the yellow line and f- keep bouncing across like we've seen in the past because you know if you look at the past it's done it in the past it bounces 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 and that's what you can use with your strategy going forward and you can really maximize your gains with this and look let it ride as high as it can and then look for the next uh time to sell um but yeah if you stick to such a simple strategy like this then you could make absolute insane gains and your friends will just be like how are you doing this you're always making crazy gains with bitcoin and it and some people do it the other way around some people it's called a short so they look at times to sell so for example like this people would look at the time to when it's at its peak and then they'll buy in and then they'll, or they'll put some short in, right, for the leverage trading. And then they would short it and wait for it to drop. And that's what we've been seeing over here as today's prices have gone on. People have been looking for the tops and then shorting it to go to the bottoms. Uh, but, you know, it can be risky shorting uh, cryptocurrency in a bull market because that's what we've had recently, a bull trend. So it's entirely up to you if you want to carry that on and do that. But, yeah, right now, as you can see, you know prices today we're below the yellow line it's come down here and if you take a look here it's hit the threshold that i've been looking at you see uh it's come below the blue sorry it's become below the, the dotted lines it's come past just dropped past my threshold of 24 so this is telling me it's a good time to buy it now this is not investment advice i'm just trying to put it out there and show you a good strategy that you can use to really set yourself up for greatness and make some crazy money in this cryptocurrency space because there's again there's a lot of people panicking you don't need to panic if you just look at these simple charts and see a good big picture of everything and yeah so right here you know for me that looks like a good buying opportunity and to be honest with you I've been buying at this opportunity. We've been buying other cryptos, me and my patrons. And if you was a patron of mine, you know this because I show you. I show you my buy alerts. I show you when I'm buying things. And yeah, and it does look kind of dull because you still you still see prices fall. But you have to just like again, no one can promise you anything. Even with these charts here, no one can promise you that it's going to be a hundred percent. But you can use some of your um, previous. Uh, you know targets as to what they've done before in the past and use that as a strategy to help yourself going forward and for me every time i see it come around the 20 you know if it breaks these dotted lines and come to the 24 you know that for me is a perfect buy opportunity and if i zoom this out you can see this purple line all across and you can see has you know prices have always gone down to roughly the 24 and you can see with the prices of bitcoin when it's been a perfect time to buy and i'll zoom this out so you can see it doesn't matter which one we use look just hit anyone here's a fine example this one down here look let's just zoom down here with this one here that I'm, I'm, i want to go for this one here so you can see right uh this example here uh let's just zoom the the chart in so you can clearly see what i'm looking at here it's gone below my threshold and for me that would have been a perfect buy opportunity and as you can see here prices were below the yellow line and bang came straight down these are the buying opportunities that people don't pay attention to and they panic and they think our oh, best sell and you know it's hard to get that out of your head because when you want to sell it's hard to shift your mind and say actually no i should be buying but that if you can control that control your emotions you could just destroy this <laughs> cryptocurrency space i promise you now and this is what i'm going to be teaching you guys and if you like this video and you want to see more of this please drop that like and let me know because look if you had bought down here again you know using my simple strategy we've got the dotted lines it's below the dotted lines it's below my 24 threshold for me I would be buying this right here and then I'd wait patiently and then I would sell it when it goes above the dotted lines and above my threshold of 75 right up here anytime here for me is great profits and you can see it on the charts from here to here and let's just look at what percentage you would have made if you had followed this simple strategy so somewhere around here to uh, I'm just trying to get it at the top uh, to here you're looking at 205 percent gains it's mad crazy ludicrous bomb I can't help it that's just what I do if you're new watching uh, but yeah I'm gonna leave it here with you I just wanted to open your mind to this this strategy maybe it will help some of you if it does please again drop that like give me a subscribe and you know if you want to become a patron of mine because you best believe they see this stuff first they get to see this and prepare themselves and you know like I said the, the chart right now as it stands today 
it looks eerily similar and it's coming across you know those thresholds as to what i look out for when it comes to buying and selling crypto uh, let's just move across hold on let me get the this thing here i've got this bloody thing i don't need this let's just come forward again in time uh to where we are today in crypto uh i've gone right back and i'm just trying to show examples here we go so you know when i look at today today's prices and i know it seems mad because obviously we're going through a disgusting fall right now it's it's hitting my threshold and for me this is buying opportunities so this is why i think now could be a good time to buy not investment advice and then you know i'm gonna sit back and wait just like what i'm showing you here i'm gonna sit back and wait and i'm gonna wait for these highs up here and when it breaks above my 75 threshold that's when i'm gonna be selling that crypto and taking in those hundreds to 200 percent gains and like i said if you're doing this on bybit or something like that you could be setting yourself up for greatness and you would look like a damn genius in front of your friends <laughs> i'm gonna leave it here there's more to these charts things like this it's a whole different other story i can tell you uh to be fair i should have had another line like this but yeah i'm gonna leave it here if it was helpful to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching and shout out to my patrons again if you want to become a patron you're welcome to come accord that uh, accord <laughs> aboard that crypto express you know just come through on platform nine and three quarters and i'll be standing there like hagrid with my lantern <laughs> waving it side to side uh greeting you in hello everybody oh hello hagrid <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop i just hear harry paul all the time when i do my name calls you you best believe listen to this name call because i've got so many patrons it's crazy mad crazy lucas bomb but i appreciate you all and all the patrons in these tears i see you thank you so much and yeah hopefully this teaches you something uh to take you on your crypto journey uh so shout out to dana mr t west toy not to be glenn That's, listen <laughs> you're gonna be sitting there for half an hour i promise you listen to these names that came from platform nine and three quarters okay <laughs> Mr. T where's time not to be Glenda it's time comma black SM I'm trying to say it fast as well because I don't sit here for half an hour Michael Costanti but I ain't got a choice Michael AJ Fancy 63 Clarence Dennison Christopher Johnson Jacob Adams Mr. Anonymous Sir Chuckler Lewis Rose Natasha F Carlos watching Mr. Tuffy Damaris Samuel Stancox Rahul God Dante Kennedy RG Bizzle I'm laughing because I'm not going to be sitting here for 20 minutes Bizzle Max Kenneth Whitley Wisdom Wisdom Marcelo Trevino Redex Robinson Manny Sanchez Catherine Chung Tyron Samuel Stephen Edwards Abiola Rachel Mack Pamela Williams Brandon Stacks some racks rick joffrey williamson omar thomas casper no aaron davis ccp269 good feels nice loot <laughs> that's not a name albert lynn dominic will w peter stoddard belinda spencer eric foreman semion fatima price shwanda owens why am my screen scrolling where am i uh shwanda owens tana mclaren josh wills hold on josh wills marcel essos listen some people left the crypto express so i'm gonna get a few names mixed up okay marcel essos k kevin ward sassavi michael kill christopher hoss christy peter mosa snowy d swearing andrew hardin eric kelvin william fox Estra, claudette homiliosa like wingardia leviosa <laughs> just float you up you know as i say <laughs> what am i laughing for shakir hussein jeff tomtich paul lamaru Hold on. Lamar Ali Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Alexander Oforio, uh, Ofori, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Benson Hum, Powell, Russell Cohan, Josh, hold on, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Ming Luna, got to say that slow because sometimes I mess them up. Crypto Matt, Jordan, Bomb, Andrew Queen, Gimme the Games, Vid Videx, West A, M Ali, Mo C, Fiat Jessen, e oh, hold on. <laughs> Fiat Jessen, Mike V, Joanna Mofavello, Orakem, J Fay, Pit, oh, <laughs> can't help it terry jc because like i've still got names in my head from the people that left the crypto express ollie elton rosario orville broomfield frank essa nasa ignacio hold on ignacio just mash up your head because the mentors try to come in you know i just see how it put on creed g, g crypto lemon seven chris chico and then that man hey listen if you're still sitting there through this i big you up trust me g what am I laughing for? G Crypto Lumen 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Locko, Zach Allen, Mansour, Kieran Phoenix, Jim Jaguar, Nicky McDonald, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exatlios. Mash up your head with that smell. Trust. Listen, your names are sick. Do you do this on purpose? Because it sounds good. Stony Mac, John Lowe, Ken Merrill, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Laura Bruce, Aiden, Ejiki Okori. Sick little smell, you know. Just move the food from one side to the other. <laughs> 
I'm laughing for. Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Dua, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, Brenko Dovisilic, Marcus Sassi, hello. Ryan Orange, Ryan Williams, Tukin, Santino, Rafa Hussain, Joel, Joel, sorry. Chris Jam, Je- Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, Rene, Chris, tongue twisted, Melissa James Davis. Melissa James Davis, there you go. UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Bradley Kim, Lena 111, Sunny V, Crypto One, Martino, hold on, Ross, Martino, I forgot your first name, Hany Abu, Ricardo Vinegas, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, Nightman 911, New Two, Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, Ross, still going! Dave, I think I'm halfway. <laughs> What am I laughing for? David Adedigy, Chiquita, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil TV, Big Ochi Man, Kirsten, hello, Mr. Drew, SNCCC, Mullen, Daddy Alba, Sa- Sander Kampong, yep, got your name right, Josh- Joshua Asher, Darnell D, Black 8, Bob Rust, Eloy, Mickey? Mikey? It's Mikey! User X2019, Ibrahim Kamara, Black Star, Chiles Creations, Akis, Voderus. That sounds like a sick spell. Just flip you over your bed, you know. <laughs> I just love it. I, I'm going to go and watch Harry Potter after this. Abid Hussain, Moises De Lopez. I know you are as well. <laughs> what laughing for? Michael, Keith Harrison. <laughs> I can't help it. Joseph Samara, Neona London, Chris Tap Dances, Irish, Jack Bliss, Montreal Ammon, Joey J, Raj T, Liesel. Liesel? Yeah. Brian Reedy, Islam, Tari, Cornel Goodman, Matthew Walker, Carlos Porter, Sarpain Singh, Dennis Boneman. Hold on. Dennis Boonman. <laughs> Boonman. <laughs> I ain't cutting it. Because people cut this stuff. Alessandro Benini, Mark Peake, Elliot Chew, Royal ID, Teddy Barrel. I just keep it in raw. Fresh and organic like Tesco's. Hassan P, Makuga. I'm sure Tesco's went to America and then they got declined or saying, innit? You tell me about it. I don't know. Do you shop in there? Court, Gordon McCulloch, McCulloch, sorry. Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, John, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Artard, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello, Rizwan, what's happening? A Kings, Ice Cat Trader, Davidas, Nomentus. I don't know, just like spin someone around in circles, you know. <laughs> I'll stop laughing like that, sounds stupid. Not cutting it. Connie, A. Alamu, Williamson Johnson, Anthony Donne, Karen Danick. Yep, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kimberly Gearman, all for one, Cylindale Tashuma, Stefan, Coinage, Adrian Alanda, PC World, you got to drop that, Marky27, yeah, uh, Dave, Chris Adlam, John, hold on, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Thomas Rodriguez, Golden Bag, Slow Measy, hold on, Slow Measy, Noel21, Trevor Dawson, Jude Tam, got to scroll back down again, you know, Terry, Mr, no, Thierry, there you go, Mr. Crypto, Hello, uh, Joe Yusuf, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, Arif Joy, uh, Kelvin Rodriguez, Danny Rich, Elstein, Tefed Swa, I'm getting in there, Memphis Denfers, I told you there was lows, you thought I was joking, in? I told you, just sitting there, make me sit here for 10 minutes, just calling your damn names, but I appreciate you, thank you, uh, <laughs> Carnival 444, Morgan Culver, I truly appreciate you guys, it's just mad, I swear, I got food to- <laughs> okay, sh- stop. Joe, Cal Peshkema, Jack Sutton. Why aren't it scrolling down? Alex Pagan, Pagan? No, Alexis, Alexis Pagan. Like, let me know if it's Pagan or Pagan. I don't know. Siraf X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Anish Patel, Dean, Aaron, Nova, Muhammad Imran, Ankush Jane. Big up to you. I spoke to you a bit. In a bit. Uh, I, you know, I spoke to you. Corey, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Michael Roberts. Uh, Elijah Al Alendi, I think Aland Alen. Let me know. Nika Onu, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Laramie, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Leform, Tony B, D, D- Wheels, Riyad Midicasso, Midicasso, yeah. Mandy Nguyen, Hash Matala, Michael. I can see Telegram popping up. Michael Ruddy, Will Brooks, John Wesley, Wesley. Sorry, <laughs> Weasley. I think of like Ronald Weasley. John Wesley. It is right, isn't it? Wesley, Weasley, Wesley. <laughs> Sitting there too long. Sura, <laughs> Sura Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masik Soul. I remember it used to end there. I'm still going. Master J. Listen, this ain't easy, you know, calling these names and trying to remember them all as well. Daniel Brand, Liam Plas, DG Crypto, Adam, Adam Istvan, Theodore Wheaton, LD, Vincent Millet. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still going. Mauricio. I think that's right. A Loop N, Rev Rav. I remember it used to end there as well. Steve Hayer, Eamon Rizvi. And there, Jacob Tum... Hold on. Something in my mouth. Jacob Tomachio. Is that right? Tomachio. It's like tomato ketchup, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Hey, I love it. Janetta. Legend Charles Knight. Uh, Asa Jones. 
Gabriel Vince McDowell. I, hold on, McDougall. I can't believe I'm still going. You guys are mad. Duns River, Carrie, Gilpo Blackins, Jake <laughs> Ross, Crypto Crumbs. Listen, you're making me, no. <laughs> Call you Crypto, you're Cookie Crumbs. I can't remember Cookie Monster. Cookie. <laughs> okay, I can't stop. Christian Lee, Philip. Listen, if someone ain't laughing after this, this ain't wrong with you. Philip Staffer. Okay, this name, right? It's hard, but I can do it. Oisin Nato Charm Jello. There you go. No, Charm Jello. There you go. Fund Me Now. Crypt Dive. Hold on. Klondike Penny Feather. Maha Ramadan. Uh, Fears Ahead. Yeah, Fears Ahead. Brandon Tenex. Jim Harsha. Bent Hansen. Daniel Grigor. Grig, Grigory. Grigory. I think that's right. Idol Piper. Shari Tay. Zostek, I think that's right. Desh Deshana Vation, I think that's right. Let me know. Uh, Vation, Vation, Mustafa, Skylark, whole type, Skylark, DJ Skylark in the place. You know, I, I love it. <laughs> Liz, Re Look, I'm at the bottom. Liz Reed, El Bengrad, I think that's right. Mike Van Tilburg, the A Team, Jacob. Oh my, God, I can't believe I'm going. Hold on, let me just shut up and do it now. Jacob <laughs> Madaris, Landlord Morrison's, Nichols, Nichols, do it, Dave. <laughs> Dave Cathro, Richard Harmer, Kyle Dawson, Dennis, I'm slowing down, JP Deline, Deline? I think that's right, Deline, V Flash, Michael C Catlett, Joe Shawns, Akeem Banks, Ma Michelle, okay, let me say your full name, Michelle Van Den Acker, there you go, I think I said it right this time, Rosemary Henson, new names, <sighs> I'm almost there, I promise you. Justin Levin, v Via Financial, R Racorn, Raycorn, Racorn, uh, Rush Paul Sandu, I think that's right, Mr. Pauniti, big up, Massey, Ton hold on, Tonye Adikibi, hold on, I said this at the start, Tonye, yeah, Adikibi, I think I said it right that time, uh, Seer Coins, I think that's right, Brandon, James Richards, Devil Craft Sing Thong, uh, Laurent Corvillain, Corvillain, and Kasha Smith, my God! I'm just sitting here for 20 minutes just calling your names I've got to shut up because it's quite late here when I'm calling this video I'm sitting at like 22 listen the time I call this video it's like 10 30 at night I should be in bed with my socks and boxes on just chilling <laughs> but I'm calling your damn names thank you I appreciate you and yeah <laughs> if you're still sitting here I don't I think people clicked off now but if you're still sitting here Thank you. If you want to become a patron and get on that mad name call, because you ain't seen no one else have a name call list like that. You best believe. Like, there's no point saying goodbye now. Just to scroll up like this and then just cut it off when I'm ready, you know, because what's the point of saying goodbye now? Just been doing no name call that long. All this downtime made me do his name calls. You know, it's mad. I you know. I'll just see you in my next video. <laughs> okay. Bye.